welcome to Living a Sustainable Dream. And it's flu season, cold season up here in Northern Idaho. And so what we're doing is we're breaking out a home remedy that I got years ago when I first started teaching in a school district. And I had just moved there. I was sicker than a dog. And luckily one of the uh, counselors came to my aid and shared a family recipe with me. And so I'm gonna share that recipe with you and it has worked wonders uh, for us during the, uh, the cold and flu season. It's a very spicy soup, but it's also got a lot of the really rich uh, root vegetables in it, which actually gives you a lot of substance and it, it sits well in your stomach, but it really just kind of warms up your body and really gets that fever down. So let me just introduce you to some of the ingredients and I'll give you the amounts uh, later on. So literally you're gonna put carrots in there. We got two leeks, we got four potatoes that we're gonna peel and dice. We're gonna have some cabbage, we got a turnip, we have beef broth, since this is gonna be a beef uh, soup, but you can also make it a chicken broth soup as well and have chicken stock and use chicken, but we're gonna use beef in this example. Uh, two shallots, some garlic, two nice size onions, a red pepper and a green pepper, as well as garbanzo beans. You also need a dry red wine, which will help. And then we're using beef. You can also use chicken breast if you want, but we're going with the beef and the beef stock today. So this is usually the, the recipe that we make and concoct together, and it just is very soothing during this time. And usually in a couple days um, after eating the soup, you kind of start to spring back, um, get your energy back, and at least kind of get to a point where it can function instead of just being completely passed out on the couch all the time. So let's get started. I'm not going to show how we cut up all this stuff. You guys know how to cut up vegetables. We're just going to show you throwing it in the pot and letting it simmer and cook. Okay, you soak your garbanzo beans overnight. Just go ahead and drain the garbanzo beans. We're going to get the, some of the onion chopped. We're going to add the garbanzo beans. And you add the uh, first 13 uh, ingredients. All right, here is the first of the leeks. Got two of these. Just adding that in real quick. Looks like we got a helper. There's our little cheerleader right there, right? Are you the cheerleader? Yeah, you helping out? Just an encourager. I went ahead and used a potato peeler to peel the outside of the turnip. And now I'm cubing it and getting it ready to put into the pot. Okay, now for the red and green pepper. Just add those in. What beautiful color. And that is going to make some really great flavor for the soup. As you can see here, you can see the, the peppers, the shallots, the leeks. Underneath that is the onions. And then over here, the white cubes are the turnip. Now for the potatoes, peeled and cubed. I'm going to go ahead and mince the garlic. That in there. There's the garlic. Now for the carrots. And now for the meat. Uh, I got this on a instant $3 special from the meat counter. And it's basically a 1.7 pound. We're going to go for 1.5. It's the recipe, but I'm just going to throw it all in. Um, it's a sirloin steak petite, and we're just going to cube it up. It's going to be perfect for our soup. One and a half pounds of cube steak goes in. Not much fat on the steak, the sirloin. Very nice. Not too much gristle. And it was a little bit brown, but my wife's grandfather was a butcher, and he says that's the way you want your meat to be. Not to be totally like red, but more of a, a tinge like it's starting to turn. That makes better flavor in the meat. And he was a butcher for... Was it 40 years, Krista? Long time. I don't know, honey. Yeah. But he retired as a butcher, so... Mm -hmm. He knew what he was doing. All right, now at this point we have cayenne pepper, some thyme for seasoning, and we also have um, this the beef stock that's going to go in. Two teaspoons of uh, thyme, cayenne pepper. And you can add more for taste. Mm -hmm. A little bit more in there. 
the organic beef broth and I just kind of wanted to get something that was not full of junk. So we're just going to pour that in. And now we got to get this filled with water and then we're going to put it on the stove for, uh, they said 20 minutes on the recipe. Then we're going to have it go a little bit longer uh, so we can have, have it cooked in and have it more flavored throughout. So let's go ahead and get that started. <laughs> Okay, we added our last two ingredients, which is one cup of wine, red wine, dry, and also um, half a cabbage. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's starting to kind of simmer. But before that, what we did is we allow it to come to a boil, and then we turned it down to simmer for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we added the wine and the cabbage just now. And so we're gonna let it cook for 20 more minutes. So that stock pot of soup produced five jars, possibly almost seven jars. That would be almost two right there. And we also fed three of us tonight full bowls of soup on top of that. So we got plenty left over for this week as we work our way through flu season. <laughs>